For many of us, on 9-11, the threat became real. There are some bad people out there who mean to harm us on our own soil. They've used planes, bombs, many different types of weapons, but when it comes to chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear attacks, known as seaburn attacks, there are specialized military teams ready to meet and deal with that kind of threat. Strategically positioned all over the United States and its territories, they pack some mind-blowing technology that makes them one of the best in detecting, identifying, and dealing with seaburn attacks. Our primary mission is to support local responders. Um, at the call, of, basically the governor has to call us in. Uh, we support the FDNY, NYPD, and any state and local um, fire departments or emergency services units. On this day, one of the units, the 24th Civil Support Team, whose area of responsibility is the New York City area, is conducting a training exercise designed to simulate a real-world scenario involving an unknown chemical agent. Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Gettner, the team commander, explains how his team tackles the threat. Uh, this morning we got a call about four in the morning from the FBI requesting our assistance to, to identify an unknown laboratory process at a residential building in Brooklyn. What they found was a, a glassware uh, that was producing a nerve agent. So our mission here today is to make entry into the residential building and identify any hazards related to the process. The team begins by setting up a decontamination line to remove any contamination they may be exposed to during the containment. They establish a command post, complete with satellite-based communications and a mobile lab truck. Once everything is set up and operational, the soldiers don protective equipment and enter into the hot zone. It's a nerve-wrecking and long, tedious process, but being on the front lines of a potentially deadly situation is not something this unit shies away from. You have to rely on your training uh, and all the training that you've been through, and you just need to trust that you know that everything you're doing is safe and that you're going to go back and rely on the years of training that you've had. And, and when you do those kind of things, it kind of mitigates some of that fear. They train using state-of-the-art technology that can rapidly identify biowarfare agents, a threat they see as increasingly real. So the ALLS, or the Analytical Laboratory Suite, um, uh, first and foremost has a level three glove box, which we can take any kind of chemical or biological sample in there, process it, try to identify, try, try to characterize it, try to identify what it could be. Um, from there, we try to, uh, we have a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer, which is uh, short for uh, or long for a GCMS. Um, there, that is our chemical analyzer. It analyzes any volatile or semi-volatile compounds. Um, it uh, has a database of over 200,000 compounds in it. And that's just the beginning. Using infrared light, the team is able to identify particles based on its reflection. We also have an in infrared spectrometer hooked up to a microscope so that as we're looking at uh, white particles underneath the microscope. We can um, analyze each of those particles with an infrared spectrometer. Be it nuclear, chemical, or biological, the team is ready for any type of encounter. Their equipment can identify a vast spectrum of toxins. It does basically an antigen, antibody, uh, complex protein identification, if you will, on the surface of particles to see whether or not it is one of the toxins that we're looking for. So we can identify any of the any of our conventional biological warfare agents on that instrument just by analyzing the actual DNA or RNA. These skilled experts of the civil support teams stand ready 24-7 to combat any possible attack anywhere in the United States. The threat of a chemical or biological attack is real. That's based on current events going on overseas. The team fills that threat and uses science as a key element to determine the threat and assist our civil authorities and being able to make decisions to help our populace and save lives. Working side by side with U.S. law enforcement, the civil support teams remain vigilant day and night, armed with science and ready to take the call we all hope they never receive. <laughs>